asked about this land, my friend. The last house in Molden. All of it, I should be here. Second bed. Olvida doesn't live alone. Someone was interrupted preparing their supper. Taken. Or fled. <laughs> Spilt pail of water. Someone was in a hurry. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister. That's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. Do you know where they're holding Olvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. I should be cautious around here.
See, Sudan. This key should unlock Alvida's cage.
This must be Birsten's love, Alvida. They haven't broken her spirit. Quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. Of Ellerich's? Is he all right? The poor boy? Not your brother. Someone else who wishes to rekindle a, a friendship. Have a look, Sunin. We're almost there. Zunin, <sighs> guide me. My bones ache. Rest now. Soon you will be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone. Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teat. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I am here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for... I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife, Estrid, returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He'll come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he'll ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. 
And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Now that you're reunited, what will you do? Are we reunited? I must hear it from your lips, Alvida. It has been many summers, and I have aged ungracefully. I will hear your wooing, Beerston. God help me, I've nothing to keep me in Molden. And this young lad is Elderich, Alvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerstan. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elleridge, I'd suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Beerston, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida. Charm. Still so boyish and eager to make me happy. <laughs> Silly ours. She has not changed at all. Her soft features, her earthy strength. She will make a good wife. <laughs>